Hey, what's going on YouTube? How would you like to install the newest version of Kodi? Always have the newest version with the best build for free movies, TV shows, live TV, pay-per-view, and cutting the cable bill completely. Now I'm gonna show you how to do that by installing Kodi, always having the newest version of Kodi, always having the best build. And not only that, but also having access to 60 plus applications for free movies and TV shows that you can run simultaneously with Kodi here on your Fire Stick can be installed as well, which gives you more choices as well. But let's focus on getting Kodi, getting you full access to my store and getting you the newest build and the best setup and doing it quickly and efficiently. So here I'm on my Fire Stick. The first step you wanna take is you wanna to go to settings to do that. You wanna to go to my Fire TV or my device. You wanna click inside of that. You see I have developer options. You may not have that on your screen at home, which is fine. Click on this about here, and you'll see your device name. Mine says Fire TV, yours might say Fire TV 4K, Max, whatever it is, Light. Click on your Fire Stick name eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She so says, no need, you're already a developer. So now what do we've done when we click eight times? It should say, now you're a developer. So we've enabled developer options, okay? So when you click one back on your Fire Stick remote, you should have developer options on now. Now, once you have that, click one more back and one more back and one more back to get you to the main menu. Now, from the main menu, you want to go to find and you want to go to search by highlighting it. Click in inside of search and you'll see a box like this. You can use the Alexa remote by pressing a blue button on your remote and searching for an application called Downloader. Downloader. Or you can also type it in as well to locate it, okay? An orange icon and white will come up like that four stars right here. Once you find the downloader application, just like that, you want to click on it and you want to press the download button. Now what's that going to do? It's going to download and install the downloader application. When it's finished installing and downloading, we're not going to open it up. We're just going to hit the home button once it's done installing. There's a couple of things we have to do first. So let's go to settings. Let's go to my Fire TV and my device. Let's go to developer options. Let's go to install unknown apps and click on it and make sure to turn the downloader to the on position just like that. Now, once we do that, hit one back, twice back, three times back, four times back, and five times back to go to our main menu. Now from the main menu, go to find and then go to search. There's one more thing we have to do. And search for a following application called IP Vanish. Just type it in just like that. We're gonna type that in, IP Vanish. Okay, let's type that in. Just like that, IP Vanish. Type that in and click, highlight and click to search for it. Now you see an application with 94,000 reviews. Uh, black, gray, white, green icon right here. Click on that icon. It's gonna take you to the next screen and press the download button. Now what a VPN is gonna do, is gonna be able to connect to those Kodi build servers and to be able to download the Kodi build. Internet service providers have been blocking access, blocking access to movies, TV shows, unlinked store, Kodi built links and the um, add-ons and apps that run inside of Kodi that will not get you any links and will have blocked sports, blocked pay-per-views and all that stuff. To get around it, we're going to deploy a VPN on our Fire Stick. So as you can see, we've installed it successfully. We're going to open it up and it's going to ask us now to log in with your own username and password. Now, I'm going to log in with my details, but to get your own username and password, you can scan this barcode here with your iPhone, with your Android, you can go to this bitly link, type it in your browser, or you can click on a clickable link in the pinned comment or description, there's a clickable link. Uh, once you get there, you'll go to the landing page, and from that landing page, you can choose your package, and now you're gonna get 82% off. It's like a latte at Starbucks, it's a few dollars a month, not more than that, it's gonna be super, super cheap, and you can use this on unlimited devices. I use this on about 10 Fire Sticks in my house, which I test extensively. On box, Android box, smart TVs, iPads, iPhones, Androids, you name it. You can run one account all across the board. Now, to connect to the Digs repository to get that best build, to connect to that server, we'll need to set the server up inside of IPVanish to connect to that. So to do that, set up your account by going here. And once you're on their landing page, choose your package, like I said. Put in your email password that you're going to use to sign up for IPVanish. Create your password on their page and hit the sign up button. Once you sign up, you'll get an email confirmation from them. 
to confirm your account and then log in by putting your email address here on your Fire Stick and putting your password and pressing the login button. Okay, you can pause the video to take care of that. And once you're done and continue the video, I'll log into mine and you would log into yours, press the login button, and I'll show you the next steps for Cody. Okay. Once you log into your VPN account, all you have to do for this setup now for the servers, click the gear icon, say connect on Android startups, flick it to the on position like that, click back, go to location, and from the location, you want to go to countries, and we're going to scroll down all the way to United States. So once we reached United States, just from here, okay, click on the United States, say favor the United States, it's going to put a yellow star on it, click on it again, and say connect to United States. Now, that's going to come up with the connection request, press OK on that screen, and the screen should flicker, should set up the server, and then now our next steps uh, are going to work. This is going to now properly be able to install this properly. So if you haven't done it, scan the barcode, go to this bit link, also in the pinned comment description, as well as a clickable link. You can scan this as well. That's going to give you 82% off. It's a few bucks per month, keeps you protected, unlimited devices, and it keeps your Kodi and things and full access to online store and keeps you updated, okay? And once you've done that, hit the home button, and now we can open up the downloader application with our VPN on. Once this opens up, press the OK button, click one up here, highlight it in yellow, and put in the following code. This is going to make things quick and easy. So we're going to put 10, 3, 8, 1. So 10, 3, 8, 1, put that code right there. And once you put the code in, press the go button once you put in 10, 3, 8, 1, okay? Press the go button, it's going to say connecting, and then it's going to flicker and it's going to take you right to the download in two seconds. And then we're going to pull in the unlinked, which will give you access to Kodi and also 60 other applications just as good as Kodi on your Fire Stick. So you're going to get the full shebang, the, the full deal, okay? So once that's done, I'm not pressing anything. It will redirect you, and then you have the opportunity to press the install on the unlinked. Now, don't press the open button yet. Press the done. Scroll over to the done button and press the done button, okay? Press the delete and press the delete to delete the actual installation file. And we're pretty much done with downloader here. Now, all you have to do is hit the home button, okay? Now, once you hit the home button, you'll notice now that unlinked is installed, but we have to take one final step. Go to settings, okay? Go to my Fire TV, my, my device. Now, go into developer options, go into install unknown apps, and make sure you flicker the unlinked to the on position. Now, once you do that, we can press five times back, three, four, five, to take us to the main menu. Now, we can start up the unlinked application by clicking on it. That's going to take us to another menu. And from here, we can press the new library. It's already highlighted. And put in the code, click into that blinking cursor that was blinking there, and put in the code FIRESTICK. Lowercase, no spaces, nothing like that, just FIRESTICK. Now, with our VPN on, this should have a pop-up screen. Now, I know this video is about Kodi, but this pop-up screen will show you best other applications right inside of my Unlinked store that you can get. Not only Kodi, but if you... I update this list every two weeks. It's blurred out here on my screen, but on your screen, it should display properly. You should see it when you're doing this on your Fire Stick at home, on your actual TV. Uh, and this will get you the most up-to-date apps, the ones that work the best, even some of them just as good as Kodi or just as good as Netflix. Amazing apps, okay? So take a picture of it if you want to. And you have an enter button, but don't press it. Very easy way to do this is click the back arrow and click the back arrow to exit. Now, when you exit unlinked, I'll show you, you can go right back into it by clicking on it, just like that. And we're back. Click on new tech app that will expand a few fields. And now you want to scroll down all the way to the Kodi section, okay? Now, when you scroll down to the Kodi section, and remember, you can scroll up and down to the other sections, which have all those applications. So you can scroll up and down, left to right, to get all those other applications if you ever wish to. I have categories for best sports, best uh, live TV apps, best movie apps, and all the media players required for those apps. But since the uh, topic is Kodi, you're always going to see the newest Kodi here. This is the one you always want to get, newest Kodi. Click on the newest Kodi, press the download button. What's going to happen, you're going to see with the VPN on, it's going to start to download our Kodi. And the speeds are going to be pretty quick. It's a large application, and you can see the speeds are pretty, pretty darn good. It's a 65 megabyte file, and you can see with our VPN on, we're able to pull this file pretty quickly uh, without any errors, without any stops, without any issues. And I'm going to show you how to set this up very quickly. In the next step, we're going to install uh, the best build 
the digs built, set up the repository, and uh, get you running and up to speed in less than 10 minutes. Get this Cody on here fully loaded, okay? So once this is downloaded, finished, press install app. It'll take you to another screen. You simply press the install button, and you can simply now just press uh, the home button to get out of Unlinked. And remember, you can come back at any time to get more apps. So right now, Cody should pop up any minute here on your Fire Stick. If it doesn't, you can go to Apps and Games here as well to see the full list. Open up Cody, and when you open it up, press the Continue button. It's going to open it up for the first time. Press the Allow button here, okay? And it's going to start it up. And when it starts it up, you'll see another screen here. Now on this screen, I'm going to make this as easy as I can. You're going to go and click on the gear icon. Okay, just follow me along. File manager will be already highlighted. Click inside. Click into uh, add source. So go down twice and click add source. Now it's going to be like this. So just click the middle of the D-pad to click into this field and then put in the following URL exactly like you see it on my screen. Okay, HTTPS. So we're going to put HTTPS. Okay. We're going to click the up arrow and it's going to create a call in just like that. Click on the up arrow again to disable it. I'm going to put forward slash forward slash. I'm going to put tiny. URL. Dot com. Another forward dash and D I G G Z or Z and go to the numbers one, two, three, highlight. Okay. And once you've done that URL, you pop it in just exactly like you see it here, press that. Okay. button, and scroll one down and one more down to press the okay button. Okay. Once you do that, it'll add that repository. As you see here, it's going to be added. Click one back one arrow, backwards arrow here. And click File Manager. And then you'll see Digs is in here. OK. So click back again. File Manager. Click back again. We want to go back to the main menu. So the back arrow will get you there. Click a couple times back. And we want to go to Add-ons from the main Cody menu. OK. And we want to click on the Package Installer up there from the main menu as well when we click add-on installer and then add-on browser you see is here then install from zip file settings flicker this little thing to the on position say yes click backwards and click install from zip file again click on the digs that we created here that's linking to our repository okay this will show up a zip file for us. Click on that zip file to install the repository. Now, when the repository is installed, we just have to click one up, install from repository, to install our Dix repository to get our build. So when that happens, and you get a notification, click install from repository, go to the Dix repository here that we just installed. This will take you to another menu. From this menu, scroll down to the program add-ons and click Chef Omega Wizard and press the install button here. Press the OK on this menu. Now, this is going to install the actual repository and I'm not pressing anything or touching anything on my Fire Stick. Uh, don't touch anything, it'll look like nothing is happening. Just give it a minute, wait a minute. Uh, things are installing actually in the background and when it's finished, we should get a pop-up and I'll guide you through exactly what to do. So. When that installs, we'll see a pop-up any minute here. It'll look like nothing is happening, but it's actually installing a lot of things in the background. I'm trying not to touch any buttons on my Fire Stick remote. Very important, don't touch anything. Because if you get out of this menu, it'll be hard to find and hard to get back to it. So when it says installed, don't touch anything yet still. And you'll notice that without me touching anything, this pop-up will come out. Now, very important, just press the back here on your Fire Stick once. Don't touch anything else. And you should get a pop-up saying, would you like to install a build? Highlight yes and say yes. This will open up the repository. I'll go to Dig Xeon Free. Click on it. 
and say continue. Now, what's going to happen? It's going to download the build. Once it's finished downloading, it's going to extract it and it'll be ready to go. Once the download finishes, the extraction process will start. And when it's finished downloading, extracting, simply press the OK button to force close Cody. This will close Cody and then we can go back in and the build's fully loaded. Make sure when you run it for the first time, wait five minutes before you start using the add-ons. Okay. Now I'll show you for this entire process, my VPN is on. So make sure when you start coding and you start using the add-ons, make sure your VPN is on to be able to connect to those servers and get that content and get all the sports, pay-per-views, live TV, and get more links and all unlimited content. So if you haven't done it in the first step, simply scan the barcode or go to this bit link in your browser or go to the link, clickable link in the pinned comment description. It's going to take you to that page where you're going to be able to sign up for your package, 82% off. It's a few dollars a month. It's like a latte at Starbucks, no more. Uh, much cheaper than even Netflix and anything else out there. It's going to give you full access, full protection, stream anonymously, and use this on unlimited devices in your household. Very, very convenient and easy to use. And you just get so much more content, sports, and everything else. So take care of that if you haven't. Sign up and use an account, okay? Now, we fully installed Kodi. We've set this up. You can also go back to the unlinked store at any time by clicking on it and get all that content is available there. Okay. So this is pretty much it. This is how you load, fully load Kodi with the digs build. Uh, drop a comment below. I haven't put a pin lock in my store. Maybe in the future I'll put a pin lock as people have been knocking off my content. I haven't done it yet. So all I'm looking for is for you to drop a com comment below and I'll reply to your comment with a four digit pin if I ever do set one up to access to my store. Okay. So just drop a comment, maybe a simple hi, maybe how are you, maybe what city and town you're from, what's your favorite food, any comment under this video will do, and I'll automatically reply to all comments when I do set that pin lock up, okay? That's pretty much it. Follow me on X as well. Uh, the link is in the description. Get all the updates and stuff. And the most important thing, hit the like button and hit that bell icon and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notifications so every time I have a new app and things like that, and I want to talk about it and let you know about it, uh, by hitting the bell icon, you're going to get notified that I have a video out and you'll be the first ones to be updated on it. So make sure you stay subscribed, hit like, and also comment below this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Have an amazing, beautiful day. Uh, bless you all, your children, if you have kids and not bless your pets, whatever. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. And let me tell, let, let me know in the comments if this worked for you, if you're happy with this setup. And thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the love. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. Take care.